Hey guys, what's going on? It's Knock. Welcome along to a brand new video. Today we're going to be playing one of the Jigsaw X on the Simon Tatum's puzzle pages. But I just want to say, um, things have been a little bit weird right recently, and the reason I haven't been around and streaming is that I just there's a lot of stuff going on at the moment. Unfortunately, I'd rather not go into. But um, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, we'll turn a corner soon and we'll be able to get back to a bit more streaming and, and playing some other stuff. So um, thank you everybody for bearing with me um, up until this point uh, and uh, carrying on from here. But um, anyway, without further ado, let's start the timer and let's jump into this puzzle and see if we can't um, get some uh, progress, make some progress, do some things and stuff and stuff and things. And Let's see if we can find some digits. And straight away I can see that threes have to go here or here in this column. And threes can oh no, I don't want to place threes. Go careful them pencil marks. There we go. Um threes can go anywhere there. And we can actually say fours. Fours, actually. Let's look at the fours instead. Let's take out these threes a minute. Just want to look at these fours because we do have quite a few fours placed here by the looks of it. So, fours there. So looking at the rows here, the fours has to go there or there on this row. Can't go anywhere else. On the next row, they can go. Can't go on this diagonal because we've got two fours on diagonals. So yes, yeah, so the next row they're gonna go there or there. Here they're gonna be quite free, he says. No, there, there or there. Can't go anything on there because we've already got the fours. And then our last row here is going to be like that. So can we look at this? And are we able to say categorically? Well, we can say, well, then we don't need a four there. It's okay, so just ignore that. Yeah, are we sure that four can't go anywhere else? Can't go diagonal there, can't go there, can't go there, and can't go there. Okay, so that is our four first placement of the puzzle. Doesn't really open anything else up for us. Actually, we don't need a four there. So they are. I know, it's okay. I was thinking there are X winged fours, but they're not. Four, that has to be a four. That's a four. That has to be a four. So yeah. Um and we can't do a lot with that at the moment because of the offset of these two. Um they're not on the same row. They're on um sorry, they're not in the same column, not row. We know they're not in the same row because uh we're scanning rows at the minute. Alright, so let's carry on. Who's have to be here or here. Now, can we use that to our advantage? And just means the two has to go there for this row. So this row could be in two different locations. Okay, so twos aren't that good for us at the minute. Actually, why actually? That's twos and nines. That could be interesting. The twos and nines. So then that only leaves us with certain digits at the top here. That two and that nine there for now. Six, seven, eight. This top row now. 
know enough about any of those digits to be able to do anything useful. So let's take a look here. Got one, two, just cell here. We'll see the one, two, three, four, five. Could be six, seven. That's yeah, six. Okay, I was, I was hoping for a bit more on from the diagonal information. Maybe we should look here though. This seems to have quite a few intersection digits. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's seven. That's a seven. Has to be a seven. Okay, that is a seven on diagonal. Where else does that restrict? Or maybe we should look at this a different way. What else do we need on the diagonal? Well, we need a one there. Can't place one here or here because of that one and that one. We've got five and eight. Don't know enough about at the moment, but let's look again at these ones. One could go there, there now. There, there. So that does that form an X wing? I think it does. Hold on, ones and ones. No, it doesn't. So you could place a one there. Okay. Ignore that. Moving swiftly on. So a six has to go here because it's blocked off from here and here and here. It can't sit on diagonal, of course. So six is there. What can we do in this block? There's here somewhere. Apologize as well if I sound a bit um, raspier than normal. Um, we was the uh, football the other night, and I may have overdone it a bit on the chanting. So uh, yeah, if my voice sounds a little bit funny today, that is the reason why. What do we want on this diagonal? Eight and five. Six. That's a six. Just checking it out one on the diagonal because there are six. Six is seen by this, this here, this one here, and it can't go in this block here. Ones. Ones are here and here. Twos are as good as anywhere. Can't be three on the diagonal. We've already got a four on the diagonal and a five. It's placed a six. Seven. Only there or there. Eight, nines can go anywhere else. I can't go there. Okay. This has to be a nine, actually, because of that nine there. You know, this is an eight. 
all the other eights off there. So that's now becomes either a two or a nine. Let's look at nines. Still quite restricting that column, uh, three in that column and this column, which every other column I think, I don't think we're gonna get much from nines on columns at least. Oh, well, hold on, we missed this, five and eight. So I place that other eight there. So that becomes an eight. Looking at this row here. Lots of eights here. This is not helpful. There are far too many eights to be placed. And yeah, there's multiple eights in all of these. The only place we know is that eight can't go in that. Bottom one there, so let's take out all these eights again and think about a different digit. I don't want to have too many pencil marks and get too confused, which I think has been a problem of mine in the past when I've um, tried to take these ones on. Who's now come up to here? Uh, what else do we need here? Three and seven. Okay, well, three and seven. So here leaves us a two, five, nine. Fives and nines. Left in this box here is four, three, and an eight. Where do we go from here? That's a good question. Trying to like see anything here that we might be able to use. Threes are interesting here. Are you there or there? The four, three, and one other digit go across here. Four, three, and one other digit. Well, something I've just seen is here. And don't die. Um, it's the ones. The one has to go here or here. Because this row sees that one, and there is a one here which knocks out this one and this one. The one is there or there. Uh, Really help me, does it? Oh, there's a five we can place. Five. 
that five, that five, and that five. Yeah, okay, five is there then. Five. Five in there, five in there, so that was five there, five there. Five's now limited to one of those positions in that column. Six, seven. Eight's down to two. Two. Okay, you see, this is this is where my pencil marking is a little bit weird because I've penciled out these diagonals here, but it's not necessarily where there's more possible candidates where the digits can go. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take those out for now. Mine will have to go there or there. One's twos, twos, two, two, twos. Two can't go there. Can't go there. Okay, so that's a two nine pair. That other digit here across here is a seven then. Just checking out. So got the two and nine here, which stop it from the top row here. We can't place a two there. But why couldn't we play? We could place a nine there. It's only a two nine pair then, is it? Anyway, we know a two and a nine can't go there. Neither can a four and neither can an eight. Two, two, nine, four, eight, and the seven. It can't be a seven, so that is our one. Okay. That has to be the one, I'm pretty sure. So then this has to be a seven, which is that is a two because we can't place a seven there or there on that diagonal. That leaves us with a two nine here, but that's a two. So that has to be a nine and that is a two. And that is our diagonal completed. One's going to go here because this one sees that and those two there. Four, eight, and our other digit here is nine nine has to be here because this two or the nine has to sit here on that row and it can't it can't sit there so it can't sit there so that has to be the nine so that's going to resolve that as a four and that as an eight now this has to be a four because it's the only place left in this row a four can sit and Revisit these cells here, three, five, eight. That's an eight because it sees a three and a five. Five and three. That becomes an eight, that becomes a three. Can't have a five there, that's a two, nine pair. Can't have a two there, that's a five, nine pair. Our remaining digits then here are a seven and an Seven and eight, well, we can't place an eight, so that becomes seven, that becomes the eight. Ones are gonna sit here. What about sixes? Sixes are anywhere, and our last digit is a seven. Well, that has to be a seven, so that's a six, and that's a one. Two and nine here means that's gotta be a seven. This one here is gonna be two. Leaves us with a one and a three. Still a two nine. Can we resolve that anyway? The answer is no, not at the minute. Here though, we've got fives, eights, and sixes. That's a five and nine. That has to be a two, which can resolve this two nine pairing here. These are going to go there. Four, five, and 
Oh no, it's not three. We already used three. Five, six, and nine. Six, five, nine. All right, we that was that was a good, was a good little stint there. Can we carry this momentum on? Okay, that can't be a four, so that's a four. That means that's a three. One, two, three, four, five, six, nine. That's got to be six because that sees both five and nine. So that's a five nine pair, which means that's going to be a six. That's another five nine pair there. Five and nine pair there. It's going to leave us with a six here. This means the six is here because it's got two five eight pairs. Five has to go there because there's a five in this block here. Nine, eight, one. Three, four, five, seven, threes, one, two. Yep, that's going to be a two. That has to be a five because we place an eight. That means that's a nine, that's a five, that's a nine, that's a five, that's a nine. And finally, we have a one. There we go. That was that was pretty mad. We we seem to like be pretty stuck um, early on with that. But once we kind of saw a couple of things, we just got so much momentum through that puzzle and uh, managed to smash it out in just under 21 minutes. But guys, thank you very much for watching. And like I said, I hope I appreciate your uh, understanding and patience while the videos are a little bit slower on the channel. Hopefully I'll get back to them real soon, uh, like some more content at least. But until then, guys, I've been Ock. You've been awesome. Take care. Stay safe. Happy gaming.